Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. Hmm. You're knowing what you're wanting? Nice to want? Nice to have desire? Do you like the way your desire continues to expand and clarify? Yeah. And do you believe that you are, for the most part, up to speed with your desire? Do your beliefs match them? Do you believe what you want? Do you believe in your ability to be or do or have these things that you desire? We have enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely. Because that's it, isn't it? When you have desire, which life will continue to help focus within you, and you're not contradicting your desire with a belief that opposes it. I want this. And I believe that it is in the process of becoming and I am satisfied with where it is right now at this phase along my path now that's the perfect emotional vibrational stance when you recognize that there is always going to be something more that you will want you will never be in a place of completion ever so as long as you are happy in your eternal incompletion then you can live happily ever after but if you need a condition to change if you need a situation to be different if you need that phone to stop ringing <laughs> before you can be happy then you're as Esther says screwed because there are always conditions that are going to be out of your control in fact more conditions are out of your control than are in your control when you take on the whole of everything that you may be giving your attention to so the key to living happily ever after having all of the success that you were born to have and by success we mean alignment joy and everything that will follow that which is everything you desire the key to that is understanding that you are a vibrational being first and foremost you are beautifully manifested in your flesh blood and bone your ability to see and hear and smell and taste and touch this magnificent time space reality is something that you came for too in other words you came for this leading edge manifestation and the manifestations of all of the things that surround you the experiences the people the life all of that is leading edge manifestation that you came specifically for you didn't come to sit over in a corner and meditate all day you came to live life fully to focus fully within it you came to flow your consciousness into this time space reality but you also intended something that most humans are not very good at accomplishing yet you intended to tune yourself to the frequency of the whole of who you are so that the whole of who you are is having this moment in time and that requires a handful of things first you got to understand that you are vibrational and that the entire universe is next you have to understand that the way you feel is the key to your understanding what your vibrational output is what it is in relationship to what you want and what it is in relationship to who you really are to the trajectory of who you really are who were you when you made the decision to come into this time space reality to focus into this body who were you as a consciousness you were consciousness who knew your value who came with great interest you knew your worthiness you knew your capability you knew the potential of being here and when you get off track from knowing who you are from knowing your value from appreciating where you are and who you are then you begin to practice vibrational frequencies they come to you in the form of the thoughts that you think eventually they become beliefs because all a belief is is a thought that you keep thinking is a well-practiced thought so sometimes in fact often you come into your physical body and instead of being aware of the trajectory from which you have come the trajectory of the energy that is focused to you and through you instead you care more about how others who are walking around in their physical bodies are seeing you you care more about what their response to you is than you care about and here's the important word than you care about your own source energy response to who you are 
Your source energy response to who you are is steady. You are loved, you are appreciated, you are understood. You are backed up, you are supported, you are known. You are pure positive energy from the perspective of source who sees you, hear it unconditionally. Source knowing your value regardless of where you stand in any moment in time. But for you, often, you don't stand in an unconditional place. You come into a situation and sometimes you respond to the condition of where you are. When the gang gathered last night, getting this room ready for you, the air wall was up here and there wasn't room for all of you and all of this. And the contract that they'd signed clearly stated that there were to be 400, but a lot of you made the decision at the last minute. Did you notice? <laughs> Over a hundred of you made the decision at the last minute. <laughs> and so here's the condition. What we planned for and those who are coming are a very different number. So the condition clearly was not pleasing. Now, everyone knows that it's possible to squeeze you all in. Now you look at it though, it doesn't really look as possible as it looked last night, did it? There is this square dance area up here that could have been utilized, but for the most part, the room was not big enough. It had not been planned to be big enough because you were underestimated in your enthusiasm for this gathering. <laughs> so there was a condition that had to be reconciled and it had to be reconciled at the last minute. There wasn't time to go sit by the beach and think pleasant thoughts about the dolphins. <laughs> and Esther is thinking, Abraham's going to talk all day long about unconditional love. I know they are. And here we are in a condition that we do not love. And we cannot take our attention away from the condition because we are up against it. And that's what happens to you sometimes, isn't it? Is that you walk into a situation that is the result of the momentum that has been moving along. And now you're standing there in the middle of it. And if you are like most humans, you respond to the condition. But here's the thing that matters most. What do you do next? Someone said the other day, Abraham, how does one, she meant how do I, but how does one, I have a friend. <laughs> how does one get rid of doubt? And we said, you get rid of it before you get it, which is totally annoying. <laughs> because once you've got it, you've got it, Abraham you squirrely ghost. <laughs> How do you get rid of doubt? Well, doubt is the way you feel when you're focused upon something and have been for a while that you believe that is contrary to who you really are and what you really want. All negative emotion means exactly that. Your life has caused you to expand into a new vibrational becoming. How do those words set with you? Do you like knowing that you are constantly becoming something that is more? But the tricky thing about that is since you are constantly becoming something that is more, you've got to vibrationally figure out how to vibrationally keep up with what you have vibrationally become. Did we mention that you're vibrational? <laughs> In other words, you cannot expand as life will constantly cause you to do and not keep up with your own expansion and feel good at the same time. So you have to care about the way you feel. That's the way you keep up with your expansion. But caring about the way you feel means doing something about the way you feel regardless of the condition. And that's where the term unconditional love comes in. Humans have been using the phrase for a very long time and Hardly any of you really understand what it means. You think unconditional love means look at some rascal who is really behaving in a bad way and just don't say anything about it. <laughs> don't rat him out. Don't talk to somebody else about him. Don't get him fired. Just love him unconditionally as you despise his behavior <laughs> and most other things about him. And we say that's 
maybe what you might call tolerance in other words you're putting up with it you're not freaking out about it but it is not unconditional because this condition that you are focused upon is an opinion that differs from the opinion that the source within you holds about it because the source within you is holding an unconditional point of view well before this day is over you're gonna understand completely why we from source are able to hold things from an unconditional viewpoint we'll give you a statement that you may be ready to receive and then we'll fill in the gaps as we continue over the next few hours but the reason that we are able to focus upon any situation unconditionally is because the current conditions or the what isness of whatever it isness doesn't mean diddly squatness <laughs> in other words what is doesn't matter because what is is only a temporary reflection of the vibration that you got going on so we want to explain to you what we mean you were source energy before you came into this physical body and a part of you is focused here in this physical body but a larger part of you is still non physically focused you are source energy and a part of that source energy is focused here and now so in your human form you sift through you know what you don't want you know what you do want you continue to sift through the data and you constantly whether you know you're doing it or not are launching rockets of desire we call them rockets of desire they're your personal preferences when someone's rude you want them to be nicer when you're rude you want to be nicer when you don't have enough money you want more money in other words life just causes you to sift and sort and launch these rockets so this vibrational becoming is happening constantly and it is a vibrational becoming now it hasn't manifested yet therefore it's unconditional you see what we're getting at it hasn't manifested into conditions for you to observe it hasn't manifested into a condition that is unpleasant or into a condition that is pleasant it's a vibrational rocket of desire that has created if you've been listening to us for a while you've seen all of our creative ways of trying to explain to you this stuff that is not physical into this what we've been calling a vibrational reality we even gave it the name of a vortex it's this vibrational state of being that is the precursor to everything else that is coming for you so this vibrational state of being which is where your inner being stands it's where we stand it's who you really are has not yet manifested it has become in terms of an idea it has become in terms of a hope or a dream there's enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes in other words it is the beginning of that which you are and you know that vortex existed before you were even born into your physical body because there was a projection of intention from non-physical there was a vibrational reality that had so much to do about you before you were even born into this physical body do you see what we're getting at this vibrational precursor of that which is you it was like the vibrational plan it was like the vibrational probability it's the vibrational reality so now you're here in your physical body you are adding to this vibrational reality the question that we want to help you ask and answer for yourself is how much of a vibrational gap is there between the things that life has caused me to ask for and the things that I believe the things that I practice in my thought and you can tell two ways you can tell one is by the way you feel if you're joyful there's no gap if you're feeling appreciation there's no gap if you're angry quite a big gap that's one way you can tell by the emotions that you feel but the other way is you can tell by how things are manifesting because when who you are and what you want and what you think on a regular basis are in the same vibrational frequency it's manifesting all around you others can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it too it is a reality it is a what is it is a manifestation you want to call it reality it is real in the sense that others see it too but we so want you to understand that before there is a reality the way you want to call it reality there is a vibrational reality and that vibrational reality is filled with all that you have become and are becoming and you have the ability if you understand what we're talking about here to close that gap and have what you want